Today we're going to talk about Archimedes' principle. So what is Archimedes' principle? Straight off here I'll define it for you. It's the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. So what does this mean? What is buoyant force? What is displaced fluid? Let's take a look at it. Who is this guy? This is Archimedes. And you're probably wondering why is there a picture of Archimedes in his bathtub? So here's the story. Archimedes had a job. He had to figure out the volume of an oddly shaped object. That object was actually a crown. And he couldn't melt the crown into a box, you know, something that would be easy to figure out the volume of. And so he had to think of another way to find the volume of a crown. And so one day, he drew a bath for himself and he got inside and he noticed that the water level rose and even some of it spilled over. This caused him to run around the town naked shouting Eureka, which means I've got it. He was so excited that he found another way to find the volume of something. Okay, when something goes inside, it displaces fluid. So let's look at what that means. Here we have a ball and a glass of water. If I make that ball go inside the glass of water, the water gets out of the way, so it's displaced. That ball displaces a certain volume of water, and that volume is the same volume of that object. So that's how he was able to figure out the volume of the crown, through displacement. Eureka! Right? So let's take another look at this ball inside the glass of water. Like I said before, the ball is displacing fluid. So you can see that there's a water level rise because it's displacing fluid. And that water wants to go back to where it used to be. And it actually creates an upward force on the bottom of the ball. We scientists like to call that force the buoyant force. And there's a little more to the buoyant force other than what I've mentioned, and we can talk about that in later lessons. But for now, what you need to know is that the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the fluid that's displaced. So let's, take, I, let's say I take this water up here that I displaced, and I put it on a bathroom scale. This is my bathroom scale that I'm drawing. And so now I've got this water on top of this bathroom scale, and it'll have a certain weight. That weight will be equal to the buoyant force. So that's what we mean by Archimedes principle where the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. Now things I want you to think about for next time are what determines if an object floats and what determines if an object sinks. Okay, We'll talk about the buoyant force and the gravitational force and what makes something float or sink and how density of objects influence that. The density of the fluid, the density of the object, and pretty soon you'll be able to answer this question. If I have a 3,000 pound ship floating in the water, what is the buoyant force on that ship? Okay, I'll give you a little hint. The buoyant force is 3,000 pounds. Interesting, right? Okay, so those are just some things to think about. Just remember that the buoyant force is equal to the displaced fluid. Memorize that, write it down on your hand, write it down on your mirror, whichever you want to do. Here are my credits. I used Archimedes picture from Microsoft Clipart, and I did my own animations with the shapes in PowerPoint. The end.